super, super good performance from Karolina Kon Kolovejic. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry for everyone for these pronunciations. Uh, but Karolina got a really good performance over Diana Bellabita. There we go. I pronounced that one perfectly. But yeah, really good performance. I predicted Karolina to win this. And she proved me right. She she did a lot of damage to Diana Balbita as well. Carolina Colwellwitz. Colwellwick. Okay, I'm not going to ever pronounce that properly. But you know, Carolina put on a great performance. Shut the eye of Di Diana Balbita. They gave it 30-27. I sort of thought Balbita maybe edged the first round, but it wasn't wasn't completely like I didn't know completely but I thought she for Diana Belbita did win the first round but maybe I, I wasn't paying enough attention but I, I did for Carolina won that fight clearly though so I'm glad that there was the right decision there unlike the Vanessa Demopoulos fight that happened earlier but yeah generally very good performance there from Carolina just dominated Diana, especially in that third round. That third round was getting pretty dicey. I was thinking that maybe she was going to get a finish. You know, she was, she was just putting on the pressure. She was landing a lot of volume. She was, I thought maybe a doctor would come in and maybe they'll check the eye of Diana Belbita. Because, you know, in women's mixed martial arts especially, the, the referees and doctors are like... They don't give the women fighters the chances. They give the men fighters. Like, they'll stop fights for a lot less than they would for the men's fight. I don't know if that's like a... If that's a coincidence that it seems to happen a lot in women's mixed martial arts, or if it's like genuine, a genuine thing, because I don't know, you'll see a lot of women's fights stop to things that you would see happen like quite often in men's fights. Like as soon as there's like a single knockdown in women's MMA, they'll stop the fight sometimes. But yeah, good good performance from Carolina here, legend legend of Polish MMA as well. Crazy that. You know, she was on a massive losing streak, and now she's on a four-fight winning streak. Just shows how quickly you can turn things around in mixed martial arts. So, yeah, she moves to 16-7. and seven, Very impressive record. And, yeah, like, like, what was her losing streak? Her losing streak was literally one, two, three, four, five-fight losing streak. From five-fight losing streak to four-fight winning streak is, like, cool to see. Uh, happy for Carolina here. And yeah, B should have to get a ranked opponent now, surely. She is she is fifteenth in the rankings, but you'd think she'd be getting a ranked opponent after this. I'm not quite sure who she'll fight, but yeah, she'll probably get a ranked opponent. Very good performance here. And yeah. Uh poor Diana Belbita, but you know, it was a good fight, though. It was actually generally a fun fight. You know, you don't get really many fun women's fights. So this was actually a good fight to watch. Uh, but, yeah. So UFC Fight Night Dawson versus Green main card is about to start up. So it should be a good card. Good main card. But, uh, yeah, prelims. Uh, prelims weren't that good, but not that bad either. It started off pretty bad. The first few fights were sort of bore fest, especially... Uh, the first fight, JJ Aldrich versus Montana De La Rosa wasn't the best fight. And then after that, you know, Johnny Munoz versus Anori Quilang or Quilang Aori versus Johnny Munoz wasn't the greatest fight either. But it started to pick up with the Maness versus Mendoza fight, and then this fight was good. So hopefully the momentum continues onto the main card. Alexander Hernandez versus Bill Algio should be a good fight. Same with Dover versus Glenn. Moreno versus Buckley, Pfeiffer versus Al Hassan. You know they're really good fights. Maybe Grant Dawson will probably ruin the momentum a little bit because he either he's going to get a dominant submission or he's going to just like hold Bobby Green down for five rounds, which could be boring if he doesn't do any damage. If it's just literally holding down, but hopefully he does some ground and pound or something. Because I love grappling. It's not grappling I find boring. It's just like when people stall on the ground. Like as somebody who's done a lot of grappling myself like I did jujitsu and I did a lot of wrestling like I, I love grappling but you know a lot of these guys don't do any damage with it they just sit on top of people and just I don't know think about what they're gonna have for dinner 
Like they're not even throwing punches. If you get somebody down, you're always going to do damage. Damage number one scoring criteria. But anyway, this is this was about Carolina versus Dalbita. But yeah, good fight. Main card should be good. If you made it this far into the video, make sure you give this video a like. Let me know your comment. Let me know your thoughts on this fight in the comments below. And if you're not already, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.